Hi everyone. So I'm doing this video a, another way to paint these fun little dragonflies that we've been playing with. And what I'm going to do is this will be kind of like part one. And this is how I used to paint for years where I created this background and then I would come back once that dried and paint my dragonflies. What I'm doing here is you can use any brush. I just happen to be using this oval wash because it really carries a lot of water and I'm just using clean water. I've got a 300 pound cold press paper and I'm just wetting the entire background. And this brush works great because it really can carry a lot of water and can cover a lot of area. For this background, I'm going to use a green and uh, maybe a little bit of yellow or blue in the background. So I've got this sap green, which is really pretty. And then I'm going to use a very light wash. And I'm just going to kind of tap in here and there, use a lot of water. And when this dries, it'll be a lot lighter than this. So this may look a little bit heavy, but it's really not. It's very light. You wanna use a light wash. And I'm covering the entire paper. And then I'm going to splatter on some yellow and let it just spread and let that dry. I might even use a little more green like that. And I'm just going to let all of that spread. The last little thing I'm going to do, which is just kind of a fun technique, I don't use this a lot, is I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of salt on there. So you can just use table salt, which is what I'm using and just very lightly sprinkle it on here. And this is just kind of a cool little effect for the background. And now I'm going to let that dry. If I really wanted it to dry quickly, I could get a blow dryer, but I'm gonna go ahead and just let that dry. And then we'll start with part two, painting our little dragonflies over the top of this. All right, see you in a minute. <laughs> 